Hey guys, how are ya? Hope everyone is doing well. I hope all of you are doing great during this Christmas period. And I'm wishing you a very great, great 2023, you know? Um, I just want to talk a little bit about Andrew Tate. You know, I like Andrew Tate. You know, a lot of things he says I agree with. You know, I think it um, comes to mas masculinity and feminism and the whole world has got this thing wrong and they're teaching people, they're putting the, a lot of people, especially in the Western world, on the wrong path. And I agree with him in that sense. What I don't agree with him is what he was talking about, what he said about Meghan Markle. I think it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And Andrew Tate is not the right person to even talk about Meghan Markle. And he is why. If you didn't know Andrew Tate's father was black, you know, you wouldn't even think Andrew Tate was black. <laughs> you just think it's either he's white or he could be one of those uh, Arabs you know, or Arabs, whatever you call them. Right. That's what you would think. You know, so for him to go and oh, the, the England is not racist. Um, look at the 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 the, the, the king. Uh, the the premier is even darker than Meghan Markle. The, the 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 mayor of London is actually darker than Meghan Markle. All that doesn't make sense. You know, Obama was president of America. It didn't mean racism in America stopped. You know, and also you have to remember, uh, the current prime minister of England wasn't voted by people. It was more qualified than the, the, the lady that only ran for two weeks and quit. But that lady, being white, won. Even though she didn't have the, 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 um, the qualities of him, she still beat him. You know? And he only won because people didn't have to vote. Who knows? If he wins in the next election, still it's, it doesn't mean it's the end of racism. It doesn't mean people have stopped being racist. Like I said, Obama was half black, ran for eight years, and America is still racist. You know, one thing you are missing is the last time Meghan Markle became part of an institution, a thousand year old institution. You know, this is if you don't know people around the world, white people around the world, English or no English, that they hold on strong to a lot of that people. I'm in Australia and I tell you what, when she 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 got married, I knew people who hated her for it just because she was black. You know, and Meghan Markle, I can look at Meghan Markle and I would know she's black. And the nose gives it up. <laughs> you know, I look at you, I wouldn't know shit. I didn't even know you were black until I saw your dad's picture. So, but this is the problem we have in the black community. We want your experience to be everyone's experience. Oh, look at me. How come I did this? How come I did this? I did. And that's where we make, and this is where we stuff up. Your experience is not going to be everybody's experience. And if we were to put the experience of all black people, light skinned, dark skinned, and whatever, in the whole of the Western world, we are going to find that 80% of them, it's not going to be everyone, 80% of them experience racism. I'm not a person who likes to complain a lot. And I'm pretty sure in some instances, if I looked at everything in the more like this is racist and that, I'll probably come up with a million times where I can say, oh, I face racism there. But... I rarely see it. However, there are some, some choices or some decisions that were made where I could go, eh, okay, maybe that's what it was. But it doesn't bother me either way. I just live my life. However, this woman was going to be part and parcel of this institution. It's a different level of criticism. And here's the thing. Meghan Markle has never complained about the Queen. She's never said anything about any of the, the loyal family members. One thing she has a problem with is the media. And the media, they even said themselves, they, 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 they said the palace insiders. Who are the palace insiders? You know, it's not the queen they were talking about. Because they would report and they would report, oh, palace insiders are saying this, are saying that, are saying this. And I see it even today. Whatever Meghan Markle does is bad. You know, whatever, anything that she did was bad. Anything. And then you have the insiders who are feeding the media some of the, the stupidest thing ever. And then they blow it out of proportion. You know, it wasn't her doing all that. She went there and unknowingly what she was going to get herself into. And then she realized, oh, this is worse. And I tell you what, there's a difference between being black and being an actor and an actor and, or an actress in Hollywood. You know, that's, that's very different. You know, to becoming...
part of a white a thousand year old institution. That's different. You know, I think you missed the point there, mate. Mr. Andrew Tate, you missed it. You know, your experience, just because you're doing well, doesn't mean every person who's mixed race or whatever, they're doing great. That ain't, that's not, that's, that's not it. You know, people, even now, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, one of the, um, what's his, what's the guy's name? Uh, one of these old time singers. Um, uh, she used to date one of these Gadesian guys. Ah. Uh, yeah, one of them. She even said it. Like she, she, this is in America, right? You know, she'll go to a salon and people will just randomly start dissing black people, not realizing that she was black. Okay? So, but she, she's very light-skinned. She looks, she looks almost white. But I can tell you she's black because there's a few things that give, uh, give it away. However, most people wouldn't even tell that she was black. You know, and they was just randomly start dissing black people for no reason. So I tell you what, within that institution, there's so many people that didn't like her. Just like I'm far away from England and I knew people here that never liked her just because she was black. Because it means, oh, now they're going to have black kids and, and people can think like that. But here's the thing. Meghan Markle is not the first black queen or black um, whatever princess or whoever in England. You know, they had Charlotte uh, three, four hundred years ago, you know. To which most of these people come from Victoria and all of them come from. You know, but if they were to play Charlotte today, they're not going to put up a mixed woman as Charlotte. They put up a mixed, a white person. I think um, Mirren played that once. You know, why do they do that? You know, so it does, this is not about, you know, your racism is not everyone else's is racism. If you look at people from the Caribbean today, people that fought for the British to fight the Nazis can't just come to England willy nilly, man. You know, they can't. But the Nazis, who they fought in Germany, can come to England willy-nilly. You know, oh, no, there's no racism in England. There's no racism in England. Mr. Mr. Tate, I like a lot of things you do, but you got this wrong. It's the same thing you got stuff wrong about Tesla's. I know now you like him because he puts you back on, uh, on Twitter. You know, it's the same thing. Sometimes you got to think through these things. Just because you're doing well, you can't speak for somebody else's experience. That was our experience. And for her, for the way people saw it, she was going to become a very powerful institution. Remember, in Russia, they killed the Tsars. In France, they killed the Marie Antoinette and them. So England takes up a very big role among white people as because there are some people who really love the monarch. You know, so you bring in black people. Already people are, you know, are feeling a certain way about black people in politics, in, in governments and all that stuff across Europe. That changes everything. You, you are not, you are not, you are not, you are not trying to get into politics, mate. You are far away from that. You are a businessman and you're doing very well. No one cares so much about that. But you see how they care when you start talking about things that were going to influence the culture or their culture. The culture that goes to everyone. I know that goes to everyone. But at the same time, it's when you start becoming part of the or trying to change the narrative of certain things. That's when the problems come through. You could be, let me tell you something. You know, you could have a job right now, right? You start off from the, from the ground up, right? You start from the ground and then you start going up. You start going up. You start going up. You, was, you start going up. And I'll tell you what, if you ask 100% of black people who are in the corporate world, they'll tell you, I guarantee you 90% of them will say, you know what? There's a ceiling that you reach. You know, everything, you could be, you could be, as long as you are playing a smaller part, everything is cool. The moment oh, you're about to become the CEO or something like that, people all of a sudden become a, get, be, racism comes in. You know, Meghan Markle is moving into that realm. The top 1%, the most important thing in an institution in England, she was going to join that. That's the same thing as you becoming a CEO of the 500 um, of the top 500 companies in the world. You know, you see racism pops up. Because there's a limit that has been put on all black people and wanting things they can do. I am not into, let me just put this, let me just say this at the same time. I am not into this Meghan, Mark or Harry. I don't care. I don't care. As long as they live their lives and they're happy, I wish them all the best. I don't care about that. But I don't, what I don't understand is, is black people, biracial or whatever you want to call them, People like you, Mr. Tate, who like to all of a sudden want their experience to be everyone else's experience, every black person's experience. That's wrong. 
she speaks about high experience. And we can see it in the tabloids, the way they preach. Oh, Meghan Marco is jealous of the dress. They were fighting over um, Meghan Marco and whatever the other ladies are fighting over Princess Diana and, and, and Meghan Marco. Meghan Marco was always doing bad for some reason. It just happens that it was this woman who was always doing bad. You know, and she takes up the blame. Oh, she's done this to Harry. Come on, come on now. As if Harry was an angel or a saint. Come on. Harry was getting up to no good even before he met Meghan. Mm. But today, everything is put on Megan. She did this to him. She did. Come on. He was not a saint before. This guy was wearing Nazi uniforms. This guy was, was doing all sorts of stuff. You know, he wasn't an angel. And he just put, maybe just met his match. And let, them, let those two people live their lives. And let them tell their story. That's it. That's it. You know? So, I like Andrew Tate. I like what he's doing. Just for the world. But I think this one, he got it wrong. And I hope when you see this video, when you go back, you realize that you got it wrong. And maybe one day you can apologize. That's to say, they say you can change your mind. You don't have to apologize. You, you got money, you got everything. If the apology. But one day you might change your mind, just like you changed your mind on Tesla, mate. All right. Good, guys. Thank you. Thank you for this one. And like I said, Happy New Year. See ya.